Hey everybody, it's me, Mackenzie from Mackenzie Lemoyne Designs. In this video, I'm basically going to be showing everybody my process for how I make my clay pins. I went through about four or five different batches where it was trial and error to see what paints worked, what materials worked, what methods worked. You, you get the drill. First things first, let's talk about materials and paints. First paint set, Reeves gouache paint, the Liquitex acrylic gouache. The next was the Winsor & Newton. Now you need paint palettes. These are nothing fancy, like a dollar each. Napkins and Sculpey clay. I have Sculpey, you can look at what your craft store has. All right, this is the acrylic sealer that I got and I'll go into detail later why I picked that one. Paint brushes, X-Acto knife, notice I didn't throw it, and my little rolling pin, aka my Copic marker, my super glue, Gorilla Glue, glue Gorilla Glue, oh my god, Gorilla Glue brand, it's never failed me, and my little pin backs that I glue onto the back of the pins, obviously, and my two cups of water, my sketchbook, and my helper. So cute. All right, so first things first, I needed to come up with some ideas for my pins. And to be quite honest, I've been feeling very like uninspired or just like in an art artistic lull lately. I figured making some Valentine's Day themed stuff and using that color palette in particular would really kind of help I'll give you one guess as to what website I'm browsing right now. That's right, it's Pinterest. Here I am just coming up with ideas for what I'm gonna sketch. And the main thing that you really need to worry about with that is just think about the silhouette of the shape that you're gonna make into a clay pin. And I highly recommend that you do shapes or silhouettes that are simple. The more simple, the better. One of the pins that I had designed was simply just a letter. So that's just a rectangle and it's not even a perfect rectangle. That's the other thing about clay pins is that nobody is expecting them to be perfect. They're supposed to be an imperfection. They're supposed to be flawed. It's supposed to look handmade. And I like these pins because they're super thick and you can make them like jumbo size. You want to preheat your oven to 275 and you want to bake your pins for 15 minutes. And I cannot say that enough. 15 minutes. Don't bake them for any longer than 15 minutes. For some reason, everybody else said to bake the pins for 15 minutes. And I was just like, well, I'm just going to read the package. And you know what my package said? It said to bake them for 30 minutes. And I did that and I burnt my first batch root. Bake your pins at 275 for 15 minutes. Okay, don't bake them with food. Put them in a tent. Got it? Good. Moving on. I've taken my pins out of the oven. I've let them cool off for a couple of hours. And now I am ready to start painting. The painting process is honestly, it's so tedious and it takes so long, but it's... <sighs> It proved to be the bane of my existence whenever I was trial and error for this thing. I just love clay pens. I love making them. I don't think I labeled the Posca pens in part of the materials. They're not necessary. However, they work amazing for getting the details like lettering and line and little dots and just all kinds of stuff. So. <clears throat> Posca pens. You need them in your life at some point. Maybe not for clay pens, but they're fun. Do you see what the red is doing? I was originally going to make the candy sucker red. However, the red, I even after I layered it like two or three layers, it was not opaque. And I was just like, alright, plan B. 
red and pink combination is I'm literally even wearing a red and pink shirt like by the way this shirt is by Ashley Love in this video and the back of the shirt says destroy my temporal body and it's probably one it's my favorite shirt that I own I'm not even gonna lie it is my absolute favorite shirt that I own I've finished painting my pens, I've let them dry, I've realized maybe I should not have spray painted this on the, <laughs> the table. However, I did, so committed. Is that Gucci? I don't know. I'm a terrible person. Anyways, look at that. How freaking adorable is that? No. And then... I had decided before that all of these pins were going to be my personal pins, so I did not paint the backs. But yeah, these are how the pins came out, and I think they came out really cute. I'm in love with this color combination. So here's me trying to figure out how to get everything in focus and then looking like a moron. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If anybody has any questions about parts of the process, feel free to let me know in the comments. Stay soft, stay spoopy. Bye!